Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be a makeup collection clutter organization. We're going to go through all the drawers. We're going to go over what's on my desk in my little like wheelie rolly card with things that I'm like reviewing still. We're going to go through everything. And yeah, it's going to be fun. By the way, my skin is totally freaking out. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, I applied a little bit of this soft glam face filter fluid to kind of like counteract it But for the past few days my skin has been like so red Kind of like scrapey, tight feeling I don't know what it is, I don't know what I'm doing wrong Maybe it's allergies, maybe it's something else Maybe it's the weather, I turned on the heater in this room for the first time Like a few days ago, I think it might be having something to do with that Might be a combination of things, but my skin is feeling not the best and looking not the best so it's a good thing that we're not going to be looking at that for the whole video so let's just jump into it but i just wanted to mention it all right we have here the desk situation it, there's a lot going on here there's a lot of lamps which also makes it a lot more messy uh we have a lot of brushes skincare it is not even as messy as it usually is i did make it a little bit uh, more tidy for the sake of the video like i don't know if i'm ready to admit how messy i really am uh so there's a lot going on here and i really really what i want to do in this video is go through the brushes and i actually washed my brushes yesterday very proud of that fact because i am not the best washer of brushes but i did do that and one of the problems that i usually have with my brushes and everything in these little like containers is that i put everything together and it's just um very hard to find things very very hard so i want to just do a little bit of organizing as well with these because it just it takes such a long time on filming videos to find a brush that i want to use so hmm, let's see how i want to do it i think i'm just gonna take out all the brushes and put them like on this table Alright, I'm not a huge blush per I am a huge blush person. I'm not a huge brush person. I'm someone who's very specific with the brushes that I use. Like I have my favorites and I go back to those. Sometimes I don't because I'm too lazy to wash them. I'm gonna put all of the extra things to the side, like out of these cups. to free up the space for the brushes that I want to keep which is probably going to be quite a lot like I did a pretty good blush decoder I think about a year ago so I think like we're going to be pretty good but I don't know sometimes when I start going through things I start realizing things okay brushes that I want to keep these three are by Catrice the sculpting brush from the Jungle Book collection they are not exactly the perfect brush because they are shedding like I wash them and they are shedding but as long as they are still working I'm gonna keep them because I do really like them for cream cheek products the blush brush by Lunar Beauty from the like original brush collection that he did I am gonna be keeping this around I feel like this can still have place in my collection I am gonna be going through my collection and really trying different blush brushes because I keep using uh, this one from the Luna Beauty and Laura Lee collab this one is my favorite blush brush right now but I do feel like there's more out there there are more options out there than I realize like in my collection so I want to use more different blood brushes i'm gonna keep that like for example these types of shapes like these are pretty similar Bro both from kaleidos this is their newest one their newest blush brush and this is the blush brush that they had before like it's the same shape almost like this one is a little fuller this one is a little bit more like pointed i'm going to be keeping these both 
All right, what's next? This is also kind of like a blush brush, also kind of like this dome shape. This is also from the Luna Beauty and Laura Lee collection. I really love the brush in that collection. Definitely gonna be in my favorites of the year. By the way, that's also a reason why I wanted to do this video now. I want to go through my collection and kind of remind myself what my favorites were for the year. Like, kind of sneak a peek and really hold everything in my hands to see, okay, was this a favorite or not? Because sometimes you kind of forget about things you really loved at the start of the year and would still love like, kind of forgot about it a little bit. So we're gonna see, okay, this, uh, this could go with the other brushes as well. This is a Real Technique brush. This is also kind of like for cream a blush and for cream bronzer. It works like relatively well. It's pretty okay brush, not a favorite. Then we have these, I thought I had another one. Where did I put it? Or maybe it's not in here yet. Okay, I have a flower nose blush brush and this is a uh, quite a cute brush. It works. It worked better than I expected. Um, do I need to keep this? I am going to keep this for now. It's a bit new in my collection. Then I have this Essence and Jurassic World limited edition collab blush brush. This is also in that kind of tone shape. I have so many blush brushes and I only use one. So I really want to like diversify and I'm going to be keeping this one as well. Then this one, I think this one is very similar to the Luna Beauty and Laura Lee one. It's a little longer, but I feel like it could like be used for a very similar purpose. This is the Nabla Cheek Shaper, if I'm not mistaken it kind of wore off but i have had this in my collection for such a long time but kind of forget to use it and i feel like now that i'm kind of used to that shape that it's time to really really go for it this one i got at the nabla black friday sale this was eight euros and it just looked like a very nice one for like cream cheeks but now that i look at all of these together <laughs> here that i'm like uh probably didn't need this probably already have something similar but i don't know if there's something with brushes that I'm obsessed with, it's definitely blush brushes. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to find the perfect one, but I'm very picky. Then we have this Essence and Mickey and Friends Be Bold uh, blush brush. I definitely want to keep this. It's quite nice for cream cheeks. Then we have these blush brushes. This used to be my favorite. Do I only have one? Or no? I have two. This used to be my favorite. This is from Ethos, the Dutch drugstore. And um, these are not exactly the same, by the way. I kind of already felt like there was a difference in the newest one that I bought. This is, I think, the newest one. Like, I don't like super long hairs when it comes to blush brushes. And here we do have longer hairs. I am going to keep these, but I don't know if I will keep these forever. Because also, I cannot really recommend them to you unless you're Dutch or like from Belgium or Germany. And you sometimes go to the Netherlands. You go to Ethos sometimes. Like, you can grab one of these. They're quite nice. And they're only like three, four euros. Very affordable. Then I have this powder brush. I'm going to be keeping this because I don't really have a lot of powder brushes. This is also a very, very big powder brush by Luna Beauty. I'm going to be keeping this even though I don't really use it. I'm just like, I don't know if I want to like get rid of anything Luna Beauty. It's, it's hard. I just love the brand so much. Then we have, uh, what is this? The Luna Beauty LBF5. Is this a blush brush? How should I use it? I think I could use it as a blush brush or kind of like a blending brush. I'm going to put it in here as well. Then this one I use for face products, for example, with the Filter Fluid by Three. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Then this one, this one is just super cute. This is from Catrice, a powder brush. Going to put that in here. Um, then this blush brush. Is this a blush brush? A bit hard to tell, but I think I could use it for blush. I'm going to put that in here. Uh, I have so many blush brushes, I did not realize. Then we have a stippling brush. This is my one and only stippling brush. I'm going to put that in here as well. Have I this? Have I declared anything? I don't think so. Okay, this uh, small fan brush by Boozy Shop. I can declare I never use this. Yay, I decluttered one. Alright, we're getting 
to the smaller brushes. Now I can more clearly see what's going on. Apparently I did not wash this one. Okay. How did that happen? Um, I think things like concealer brushes I can put in here as well. The concealer brush that I always use is, is this one, also by Atos. Like sometimes I do pretty good stuff and I just keep using it. This is the concealer buffer brush by Atos, but it's very similar to the um, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Like they are practically the same. The Real Techniques brushes you can use for different things. Like you don't have to use it for the thing they market it for. So I'm going to put these two with the face brushes as well. And what should I do with highlight brushes? I think I'm going to put them there as well. I have these two. These are my favorites, but this is my absolute favorite. The Luna Beauty and Laura Lee highlighter brush. This is the number four from their collab. I am going to keep this one as well, the setting brush by Real Techniques. But this one is my absolute favorite. This one is also like pretty good for a concealer brush. This is also by Atos. It doesn't say the name anymore. I'm just gonna put it in here. Then we have this highlighter brush. And honestly, I don't really love it. It's by Kaleidos. I feel like it misses some fluffiness, but I feel like I can still use it for other things. So I'm gonna be keeping it. And we have this highlighter brush by Luna Beauty from their original like brush line. And this I always use to kind of like blend out the edges of my blush or sometimes to use cream uh, highlighter. This is not a crazy decoder as expected. This is a lip liner. But I think once we get to the, the stuff, the random stuff, I'm gonna be decluttering some things. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. This one I'm gonna keep. This is Spoolie and a liner brush by Nabla. This is just from their red. Um, collection like their red blush collection that collection i would say is fine they are not my favorite shapes but the quality of the hairs is quite nice so this one is also from that collection n204 this one i can still use this one i don't use a lot but i feel like there's some potential like sometimes i just have to give different shapes a try this one as well it's just a little strange this one's strange but i'm not gonna get rid of this i think like there's some potential but just slightly weird shapes this one is also from the nabla collection this one is nice this one is quite nice and fluffy very comparable to the singe um this one like the singe is smaller so it's easier to also apply eyeshadow but for blending i really like this one as well so I'm by the way gonna keep everything from Singe, of course. It's my favorite brush set, brush set at the moment when it comes to like eyeshadow. Otherwise, uh, another br brush set that I really, really love is the Luna Beauty and Laura Lee collab, which is amazing. So I can just grab these out as well if I can find them. Because I also have some Boozy Shop brushes in here and they are very similar. I really like, oh wait, this is Boozy Shop. <laughs> They are so similar looking. So these are little beauty brushes. I really enjoy. I am going to be keeping these. Okay, I think now the lighting is a little better. Can you see better? Like, it's always a bit strange to film in a, in a different way, in a different setting. This one is a, a Real Techniques brush. What is this? The Base Shadow Brush. I really like this one. This is a good one. I like applying my eyeshadow with this one. We have a bunch of Makeup Geek. I believe I bought these when they went out of business. Did I or did I do that just before? But uh, I feel like these are a little stiff. They are not the perfect brushes, but I have a use for them. But these two, I think, are more of a like concealer brush. Actually, this is the Soft Dome brush. I feel like they're a little too stiff for blending out eyeshadow, but these are pretty nice eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to put those with the eyeshadow brushes. Then I have a bunch of Booty Shop brushes. They always give you like as a free gift. That's the thing they do on their website. These are not amazing quality. These are brushes that I use when I don't have anything else, but like I can blend a little bit with them. They do like work. So I am going to be keeping them with brushes. I always feel like I don't buy a lot. I don't get a lot of extra in my collection. And sometimes it's just nice to like 
have some extra if you're too lazy to wash like this is a weird one this is the Boozy shop crease blender it's just such a strange brush it works such in such a strange way uh, I'm gonna declutter this one. I don't like the one. And then another one that I can declutter. By the way, this is also from the collection by Nabla. I think this is a bit of a strange one. I don't really know how to use it, but I'm not gonna break up the collection just yet. This one is also a bougie shop brush. This one looks really bad. It's a really bad shape and I have washed it like twice. So I'm gonna declutter this one. A spoolie I'm gonna keep. This one is such a weird shape. This is the Boozy Shop Large Blender. It is such a weird shape. And well, it's very similar to one of the Nabla ones. It's very similar to this one, but with this one, I already feel like I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Like I always give the Boozy Shop brushes a shot, but a lot of them are not amazing. This is also Boozy Shop. This is Eyelid, just called Eyelid. And this one is eye definition. I don't like either of these. I think I should just get rid of some brushes and just wash more. This is an Athos mini shader. This one I like for liner. We have some brushes from Kalelos. I'm so sad that they got rid of these because these are pretty good brushes. This is a pretty good set. It looks pretty cute. Like it's easy to find and like these are nice brushes. Nice to blend. Especially like they are not super precise, but I do like them. This is a Boozy Shop in a corner. This one I do like. These Weva Eye Blender I do like. Then we have two of these. This used to be my favorite eyeshadow brush, and it still kind of is. The thing is, just after washing, they just shed a lot. They lose a lot of volume, and then they don't work as well anymore. These are the Lux Petite Crease. I am gonna keep them. I just feel like at this point I found brushes that like that have a longer lifespan, and I do appreciate that. Then I have this like mini brush set from Essence. These were from the I think they were from the Made Beauty Fun collection. Um, these are pretty weird brushes. I don't think I'm gonna use the this one much. I can't really tell you which one it is. Doesn't say. I'm gonna declutter it. These I could all use maybe for like liner or something. They're just really really tiny. I'm gonna keep them. Then we have the Disney Mickey and Friends Essence Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna keep it for now. Then I have the Essence Liner Brush or like Eyebrow Brush. Eyeliner it's called. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. These are ones that I just keep going back to. Like they look really bad. They look really beat up, but they work so well for the shadow liner that I always want to do. So I'm gonna be keeping those around. Then we have the Zueva Soft Definer. I forgot that I had this one. I thought this was a Boost Shop brush. I'm gonna keep it. And then we have the Athos Flat Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna keep it. And this one, it is called the Contour Eyeshadow Brush. This is so old. I don't even remember the name of the store that I bought this. I don't think this is available anywhere, but I'm gonna keep it. All right, I decluttered seven brushes, which is not amazing, but also not bad. Let's move on to kind of like the random stuff that I just put with the brushes to have it like on hand. But it's not the best thing in the world because I can never find anything. So I don't know how I kind of want to do this. Oh man, I really hate this. The Colourpop lip liner that I have, I love the shade, but this cap just won't stay on. I hate it. I hate it. It won't stay. Okay, I think lip liners, eyeliners, things like that I can put in this little like glass over here. Like the ones I want to keep. This is a Kiko Milano Fruit Explosion Eye Pencil. This is a blue one. I think I want to keep it. I don't know if I'm like really gonna use it, but I want to give it another shot. Then we have the Lunar Beauty Lip Pencil in Stormy. I'm gonna keep it. really like that formula. This, like these types of things, I have to think of something else. Eyeshadow primer, gotta think of something else. This one is an eyeshadow primer, but this one is empty. Um, think of something else. 
the Catrice Calligraph Artist Matte Liner. I'm gonna keep. Then the Nabla Cupid's Arrow. I have the one in seven and six. I am gonna be keeping these. Lunar Beauty Milk Tea. I'm gonna be keeping. This is a concealer. This one, this Kika Milano Eyebrow Fibers Colored Mascara is not my shade. I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is the Nabla Close Up Lip Shaper in Nude 1. I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then a Catrice kind of like mascara separator thingy. I am gonna be getting rid of this one. I never use it. This is the Catrice Pore SOS Spot Treatment in 2% BHA, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna put that somewhere else. Loose glitter primer. I am gonna keep it, but I have to buy a new one like this sole. The Kika Milano Ultimate Pen Long Wear Eyeliner. I did not like. This is too stiff. Like the tip is too stiff. I don't like applying this. So this is gonna go. Then the Thick It Stick It NYX Thickening Brow Mascara in shade Cool Ash Brown. This is not strong enough for me. I don't like it. I am gonna get rid of this one. And I also, I usually just have one eyebrow product like that, eyebrow gel that I like and that's what I'll stick to. This is the Kika Milano Eyebrow Micro Precision Automatic Pencil in 01. This is not my shade, so I'm gonna get rid of it, but I quite like this one actually. Like it's a pretty good product, it's just not my shade. Then this is a Kika Milano Long Lasting Liquid Eyeshadow in 01. This I wanted to try as an eyeshadow base and it kind of works for that. Uh, I am gonna keep it even though this doesn't keep my eyeshadow on all day as is someone with very oily eyelids. Then we have the Maybelline Express Brow Fast Sculpt Mascara in Soft Brown. I used to always use this but then I like tried this Catrice one and this one is just a little like user more user friendly but I am gonna keep this for a little bit. Then we have the Kuitveld Lash Booster. I am not gonna be using this. I'm too lazy to use a lash serum on the daily. I just, I won't do it. I won't do it. I know myself. This is the micro brow pencil that I always use. And then we have the Lift and Snatch in Ash Brown by NYX. I don't really use it, but I'm gonna keep it for a little longer. Then we have the Icing Eyeshadow Base by Glam Light. This did not make my eyeshadow last at all. This was a very, very much too hydrating for my oily eyelids, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, let's see. I'm gonna keep the NYX Line Out liners that I have. I really, really like these. Then I'm also gonna keep the Kiko lip liners that I have. I feel like I'm gonna use these more. Like these are really nice formula. I don't reach for them a lot. I feel like I will use these more once I have this separate location for my eyeliners and lip liners. All right, my camera cut off. I don't know exactly where. Uh, but this is the Martini Cosmetics Lip Liner in Simone. I am gonna be keeping this one. Then we also have the Kaleidos. The name isn't on the packaging, but this is the light blue uh, liner that they have. I tried it this year. It is like fine and it's quite pretty, but it's just not the most creamy, effortless, amazing thing that I've ever used. And then we have this Catrice and Jenny lip liner. This looks pretty beat up and I feel like it is time to go like, it's fine, but I don't have to like, keep it around. All right, I feel like this is much better. I just have to find a place for these products and I already know what the place is gonna be. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so I'm gonna be on frame for this one. I know I promised something else, but we're just gonna accept the red crazy face. The thing with this one, the thing over here is, well, this I'm gonna leave as is because this is things I still have to review. This is new things. Just, Nothing I want to change about it. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Uh, here, I wanted to put kind of like daily makeup, like the things I just put to the side. I wanted to put that here, but now it's mainly just my skincare. It's not working out for me. It's not what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna empty this and then we're gonna put some like daily makeup in there later on. I'm just gonna empty this part over here and that's gonna be the skincare part. And some of this is gonna go back, but we just need some space.
All right, I think this is fine for now. Like under here we have some random stuff, some backups. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that for now, but it's not really messing with my makeup organization. And I just always have this kind of next to my table. All right, this is gonna be the daily makeup basket. And I'm gonna be like putting some things in here, but later I might do an actual kind of like shop my stash, but I don't know. Like, should I return that series to my channel? I used to do that. I think it was quite fun, but at some point it just felt like a lot of pressure and I kind of stopped doing that. So I might want to see if I can deal with the pressure now, if I feel any pressure even. Like, it might be fun. It might be fun. It might be good for me. So far I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Like, uh, before I start decluttering and organizing my life, like anything in my life, I'm like super, super extremely organized, but then later on I realize that I can be perfect. So I think we're pretty good here. All right, then we have kind of like the drawer situation, the background situation. These are like nail polishes. My nail polishes have already been like pretty, like they have become pretty messy. A lot has been going on in this drawer. Like I hope you can kind of see what's happening. There, there's a lot more than only makeup in this drawer. Um, we have a bunch of nail polish, we have like scrunchies, we have hair clips. I am pretty obsessed with hair clips even though my hair is a little bit too short right now for that. Then we have jewelry. This is pretty organized. I didn't want to do like everything ever in my life uh, in this video. Would get a little bit like long. By the way, the combination of these two, this is what I'm wearing today on my nails. If you're wondering, it is a feeling fiendish and anti-hero, both are limited edition. I feel like feeling fiendish is no longer available, but if you really want this effect, just put anti-hero on top of a purple nail polish, you'll get something really nice. I'm kind of debating what I want to do with my nail polish because I am keeping the boxes of a lot of them, but that is also kind of like like a little messy it's hard to see what i have actually that's the thing it's really hard to see what i have like it doesn't say on top of the box don't, oh, i don't know if i'm really gonna be decluttering by the way these if you still see these these are so cute especially like silent cat eye i was wearing the other day it was really nice okay i'm gonna declutter this one i used this recently it was so sheer this is the fx expressi in oil slick filter i am gonna be getting rid of this one and this one the moisture boost nail serum i don't know i have the holotaka nail oil now i don't know if i really have to keep it or i should just use it up should I use it up? Uh, I might keep for a little bit. See the complete care seven in one nail treatment. I'm gonna keep it for the toenails. Very, very similar, but not exactly the same. And that is how I deal with nail polish. I think I'm gonna keep like the nail treatments uh, somewhere else. This is the long lasting base, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna keep this somewhere else because I'm not using this right now. It doesn't really have to be in this drawer. I'm gonna put it with the like skincare and this one as well. This is the oily nail lacquer thinner. Gotta put this somewhere else as well. And these two, I'm also gonna put somewhere else. Like these are more like the basics and not really the colors. I honestly just have to create some space. I just don't really know how to do this in a way that I can see what I own. Like, I cannot see what I have. Oh, throwing around nail polish. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Hate My Long Lasting Nail Polish. Like, I didn't want to get rid of it when i did my last declutter i bought this because i was desperate because i couldn't get to my nail polish yet after moving but it is time to let this go 
Let's create some space. I love space. It's the best. All right, these are kind of like nail oil and a base coat. Gonna put that somewhere else. Ooh, do I still need to keep this now? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's definitely not the same as Siler Cat Eye. What should I do with all of these? Man, I have very similar nail polishes, but sometimes I just want something for your toenails and then I'm not gonna use Holotaco. Like, I care too much about my Holotaco collection to do that. I am just gonna take everything out of the box, except the limited edition ones, because some of them have different boxes and then I can, oh, sorry about that. Then I can see what they are from the box. I just need to know what I'm dealing with in my collection. I don't know if I'm really gonna throw out the boxes, but I feel like if I would keep them around, it would be for moving and I'm not planning to move rid of it. And when I first got all these polishes, I knew I was going to move soon. By the way, this is such a nice one for like the holidays. This is favorite sister from Holodaco. This is so shiny and metallic, kind of like this true Christmassy red. I love that one. Like, I've been thinking, should I do like a top 10 Holodaco nail polishes? Like, would you like to see that? Would you be interested in that? It feels like a little bit of a risk for me to do a video like that because I'm not really a nail polish YouTuber, but if you want to see something like that, let me know. Like, I love this brand. If I would be a, a nail polish YouTuber, if that would be something I would ever do, I would be, I would be a really boring one because I just... We'll talk about the same brand over and over. Okay, maybe it wouldn't stay that way. Probably it wouldn't, but right now I'm pretty boring with my nail polish. Like exciting nail polishes, but not a lot of variation in the brand that I wear. These I'm gonna put with the other things as well. I don't know why I didn't already do that. All right, that's kind of working for me. I hope you kind of saw something. I hope you could kind of see what I was doing because I was really like getting in there. Okay, this is the end result for now. I feel like I can see much better. Oh, by the way, I can still take these out of the box. I feel like I can much better see what is going on. But I do have to think about um, getting some more space for my polishes because this collection is gonna grow. I know you're already thinking like that's a lot of nail polishes, it is, and it's gonna be like it's gonna get even like bigger this number. <laughs> Alright, this is the next drawer on this side. This one has perfumes, more scrunchies, single eyeshadows, some random things, and some lip products, a lot of lip products. Uh, I recently did declutter my lip price so we're gonna see if i am gonna be able to get rid of anything all right let's see this one i'm gonna get rid of this is just very yellow i am done with this this one is very old i think i can get rid of this one i don't think i'm really gonna be using this one anymore i kind of forgot that i had this this one i really like the catrice caviar gouge spray i'm gonna be keeping this one this one i'm gonna put with the other like new care new accessories essentials i have a lot of makeup bags i have a makeup bag with a bunch of 
uh, different products. I have a bag of spray. This is a box of the Jo Malone perfume that I bought. This was for this one. I'm gonna get rid of the box because I can't keep everything. Or should I keep it for something? Like, it could come in handy. But no, okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. I think this makeup bag is just way too old. I'm gonna get rid of it. I never actually get rid of makeup bags. I'm like pretty proud of myself. This, what is this? I believe these are things that I already decluttered. Yes, I already decluttered this. Uh, and behind there as well. I just have to get rid of those things at some point. That is what I have to do. I have this sponge. I'm gonna be keeping that. I just don't know where to put it. I have this multi acid exfoliating serum. I'm gonna put that with the skincare. Because how else am I ever gonna find anything? This is the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. And I don't know, have I ever used it? No, it's still closed. I'm gonna put this with the daily products just to see if I will give this a go. Does it have any perfume in it? That's the question. I don't believe this has perfume. Okay, that's a good one for me to try. I've had that for a long time, I believe, but I'm just... I'm gonna put the sponge in the daily makeup as well to see if I will use it, maybe for some cream products. This little Odin's eye mirror I got for free, I believe. Will I use it? I will keep it for a little bit. I don't know. Um, this is a pouch by Nava, I believe. There were... I believe there were brushes in this, but it's just... It's very small. I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Like, this is probably the first time I've gotten rid of some pouches. Um, but it's time. It is definitely time. Let's go over these. The Hydrating and Perfecting Base. I don't feel like this does a crazy amount of anything. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one I've actually used up. Like you see the tiniest, tiniest bit of product in this still. This is the Luna Beauty Lip Oil in Dare Me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurchase this because I also have the two other ones. Which are really nice, like different scents but look very similar on the lips. I am gonna like throw this out. It is time. Like, I, we had a good time. The Kikimalana Beauty Roar Liquid Eyeshadow. I think it is time to let go of this one. It just wasn't special enough to be keeping this one around. But yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's about what I can say about this one. Let's see. What do I want to keep? What do I want to get rid of? The Catrice Camouflage Cream Concealer. Gonna put that with the daily makeup. I think the rest of this I can kind of keep. Like these are pretty, pretty nice single eyeshadows. I just have a few of them. This is the Clear Conditioner by Boozy Shop. Didn't love it. I'm gonna get rid of this. So this will have a place over here. I am gonna get rid of this one, the Glow Up Face and Body Highlighter by Kiko. I wanted to use it as a liquid highlighter on the face. It didn't work like that, so this is gonna go, like, I don't really use any highlighter on my body. And if I will do something like that, I will just grab any highlighter that I have. Like, I won't do it that much. I need this big bottle of body highlighter. Okay, let's move on to the lipsticks. I think I'm pretty okay with the rest that we have in this drawer. Let's see, this one I'm gonna get rid of. This is the She Glam 2-in-1 Lip Duo in... Uh, what shade was this? Nutmeg or something like that. This was a really bad shade for me. I'm gonna get rid of this. Probably, probably gonna put that in a worst of 2023 video. So I'm not really actually throwing anything out or giving anything away just yet. Because the round videos, they are coming and they are coming very soon. Let's see what else we have in here that I might want to get rid of. Like I'm trying to be realistic with myself, but sometimes it's hard, especially with lip products. And sometimes I also kind of just want to keep things for reference. feel like I'm pretty good here. I do feel like in a few months, like maybe in three months, four months, I could do another lip declutter. Like there are things here that I could get rid of in a bit, but it's a bit early. All right, here we have the drawer with bronzers, blushes, highlighters, face palettes, and all that. Let's just see what we can do here. I think it's time to let go of the Colourpop Super Shock Bronzer. I really like this at first. It's just very, very dried out right now, and 
Oh, well, did I really like it? That's a lie. I thought it was too lightly pigmented. Then I found out that I just have to really dig in and I quite liked it then. But then after a few months, it dried out. So I'm done with this. Ooh, this one. I didn't love this one. The Magic Shaper Contour and Glow Stick from Catrice. The packaging is very cheapy. I didn't feel like the products themselves were out of this world to like make it worth it even with the wonky packaging. So I'm going to get rid of this one actually. Then I got two of the She Glam um, Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. I got Butterscotch and Wheat as a bronzer and I liked one of these more. Like one of these had the best shade. But both are kind of like yellowy. I think... Can you kind of see? There, you can kind of see. I didn't think these were out of this world amazing. And then the shades aren't the best for me. They're just a little warm. So I think actually I want to keep only one of these. And I think I wanted to... I liked the darker one the most. I think I liked wheat the most. So I'm going to be keeping wheat. And I'm going to get rid of the other one. I don't need two of these. I don't know why I got two. Like, I wasn't sure about the shade. But then, like, I do need both. One is enough. The Moira Cream Bronzer. The Stay Golden Cream Bronzer. I like the formula, but it's just way too warm for me. And I'm just kind of done with wearing two warm bronzers. Like, if you have a warm skin tone, undertone, this might be for you. I am just gonna, like, say goodbye to it now. I, I don't think I need this in my life. It's a bit sad. It's just a bit too warm. The Summer Heat Cream Bronzer by the A2 Cosmetics also was too warm for me, but I think I'm gonna keep this around for a little bit. Like, um, I feel like that formula was a little bit more special. By the way, if you don't see things here that you know that I have, they might be in my um, new makeup updates basket for things that I'm ready to update you on, or they might be in my to review basket. I think that's gonna be it for the bronzers for now. Let's see, do I wanna do anything here with the cheek palettes? Mm, I think I wanna keep the cheek palettes that I have for now. I think I wanna keep them around, but maybe a different like, way to store them would be nice, but I think for that I would have to buy a new container for them. Let's move on to the highlighters. Let's see what we have. I feel like I did this pretty recently too. This one I'm always a bit unsure about because it's just very natural, a little too natural for me. But I think it's a cold classic, so I'm going to keep it for a bit. This one is the Glow Fusion Intense Powder Highlighter. And it's just, it's the exact same as what they did last year. Let me see which shade. It's the same thing. Here we have last year's, here we have this year's. Very, very similar. Same thing. I guess I can keep it around for a little. I thought I was gonna declutter it right away, but it might still come in handy because this is still around, this is not. All right, everything is back in the basket so that's nice the blushes i did pretty recently as well I, I, I know i know i did i did make the clothes pretty recently but i just wanted to go through it one more time i put one blush palette over here for now one that i can for sure declutter and it's going to be in my worst of the year is the essence mickey and friends bouncy blush this had no pigment I'm gonna put this in my daily makeup basket uh, to see if I will use it. This is the Moira Set and Correct Loose Setting Powder in Rose Pink. It wasn't a favorite, but I just want to see if I might still like come to enjoy it a little bit more. Might use it a little more. Maybe there's still something there. With a lot of these, I just feel like it's a little early to get rid of it. But I do see some that I want to get rid of in a bit. I think I kind of want to put the blush palettes from Ulta Beauty over here as well. Because I just, I want to grab for them more, more easily. And I feel like it's easier to see them in this basket. 
And then this other basket is also going to be a bit easier to grab things from. You don't see it right now, but it will be easier. I think for now this is fine, but there are some things that I'm probably going to declutter. I get a few months. I see myself decluttering some things, but I always want to give it a little bit of a chance before I really, really am like, okay, this is it. All right, last thing to go over is the eyeshadow palette drawer and the main thing here is that it's pretty messy like things are not exactly how i want them to be so it's mainly just organizing a little bit in this drawer maybe i will decide i want to get rid of something we'll see okay i want to get rid of this one the winnie the pooh palette by trees i just didn't feel like this lived up to my expectations like a few shades in here are kind of cute and I didn't hate the look that I did in the first video but I'm just not gonna be keeping this around. Like they will come out with another collection that hopefully I will like more. I keep trying these because I think they're really cute but the quality of the eyeshadow palettes in these collections usually isn't my favorite. Other things in the collections usually I really like. So I am gonna probably put this in the worst of 2023. Probably. I guess it's a little better. It's, it's a bit better. I tried. At least the pads are a bit more visible. Like you can see more what I have. I think this is gonna be it for the eyeshadow palettes. It's too early. It's too early to do anything else and um, I don't think I'm gonna go through my singles right now because that's gonna be a whole other job to do. That's gonna be something. That's gonna be a bit more work and I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like I've already been filming for a really really long time. Like it's been a day. <laughs> Alright, I've already been filming for a bit. This video has taken me longer than expected. I don't think I will be able to like show you the whole thing. Uh, make everything look perfect and seamless so i'm gonna keep the final result the end result for a beauty room tour that i'm planning to do and i'm also gonna be doing a little bit of shop my stash and i'm gonna fix the whole basket situation this is everything that i declutter that i do want to show you before we end the video let me just count how many things i get rid of Okay, so I get rid of 30 things and that is not a crazy amount for a full makeup collection declutter but I did do pretty good declutters recently and I'm pretty happy with where I'm at with my collection right now. I just want to do this once in a while to really go through and just grab some things that I forgot, grab some things that are kind of like in the categories that I don't really do a dedicated video for for like a declutter video like some of these things are not that interesting to watch like just a brush declutter i don't think you guys will watch that so that's also what we're gonna do on my channel all right so i'm out of battery this is gonna be the end of my video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you in my next one Bye bye